I think I'm recording. I'm pretty sure I'm recording. This is a test. <laughs> All right, I'm making a quick video to show how I can use um, the Line 6 Helix, um, Audacity, and Apple's util impulse response utility um, to make impulse responses for the Helix. Um, right now, um, I'm going to show you. I'm going to start with the Helix program. I made a program here. Um, and what I have in here is, let me just clear that. And let me clear that. And what I have is a, an amp, which is the cartographer. And I have dual cab. It's a Cali extension with a 57 dynamic. And it's a US Deluxe with a 160 ribbon. Um, and I've got a mono block right here just to sum both signals back to mono because otherwise when you use a dual cab, Helix pans them hard right and hard left. So I want blended cabs. So I put a mono block afterwards and it sums them both back to mono and I get this. Um, so I play with this. I kind of like it. So we'll just roll with this. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit copy and I'm going to move it down to the lower path and I'm going to hit paste. All right, and again, now I've got so I've got the same cab and I've got the same mono block. Um, I've set this to USB three, three and four, uh, and it's going out USB one and two. So this is all set to go. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Impulse Response Utility. Now what I'm going to hit New, and now what what um, Impulse Response Utility is is um, it's part of Apple's Logic. Um, but you can get this. This comes with main stage, so you can get this for like 29 bucks instead of having to spend 200 bucks on Logic, which is good to know. All right, so I set this to channels three and four, which was my USB channels three and four. Um, I'm gonna hit press record here. We're going to do a quick test tone and just make sure my level's okay. You can set your level right here. I usually like to get it just, you know, a little bit into the yellow. Um, turn the test tone off. And then we're going to press sweep. And what this is going to do is it's going to sweep through the audio spectrum and basically run it through that cab block that we have in Helix right now. And it's making a sound print, basically, of how the cab responds through each frequency band in the audio spectrum. So we need to name this. We're going to name this um, Helix Cab Test. All right. And we're going to press save. Okay. And then what we're going to do is press the deconvolve button. And what that does is it shrinks it down into a small little impulse. And what we have to do now is we have to zoom in on this a little bit because you have to trim this. Um, this is, the, if you leave this here, you'll get like a weird pre-delay and it'll feel like latency. So you have to trim this. So what we do is we take our mouse right here, just where it starts, just before, and we stretch it out until we don't see any signal anymore, which is probably right about there. Okay, and then we press the crop button, all right, and then you hit create setting, and it's Helix Cab Test, you press OK, it says SDIR file created, you press OK, boom. All right, now we shrink this down, and we open up Audacity, and let me just, uh, no, and we'll try it again, because I had an old file open there. So we hit file, and open, and... Helix Cab Test SDIR, press open, and it's going to say, it gives a whole box here, just leave it set to default, and you press OK. And it imports it, and this is it right here, this tiny little file right here, all right? And then what we do is we go to File, and we hit Save Other, Export as Wave. Yep, I hit Save. I don't need to put my name on it. Boom, out it goes. Helix Cab Test. So now we go back into the Helix Editor. And we're going to take this and we're going to go to our impulses and we're going to drag Helix Cab Test into empty slot number 14, Helix Cab Test. Now, I'm going to come up here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an impulse response, 1024, and I'm going to set this to 14 and we're going to test it. So, I'm going to turn it off and I'm going to set it up so that as I switch this button, it switches back and forth between the IR and the cab. So that this is the cab first. IR. IR. Cab. IR. Pretty close. 